Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dawkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death. <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but... Whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists, and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye! Goodbye, Mr. Morgan! Goodbye! Sister? I was browsing YouTube today and uh, you know how YouTube recommends videos to you and this particular clip was recommended to me so I clicked on it and I just wanted to make a quick video regarding this video, um, a response to it. The clip is from a video game titled Red Dead Redemption 2 and it's touted as one of the greatest video games of all time simply because of its story and character development. Now the main protagonist here is Arthur Morgan and uh, Earlier in the story, he contracted TB, which is tuberculosis. And it's basically a bacterial infection of the lungs. And in those times, that was a death sentence. There was no cure for it. And in this particular scene, he runs into a woman, a nun, or a woman of the cloth, a Catholic woman, uh, and they have a discussion. Now, we know that Catholicism is demonic. It's not true. It's not biblical. And it's not of God. And I've stated this before that, in my opinion, it's one of Satan's greatest tools. Uh, the nun basically expresses to, to, to Arthur that he's a good man, that every time she's encountered him, he's always doing good things. But Arthur explains to her that he's afraid. Now, what you have to understand about Arthur is throughout the story, he's been built up to be this man, a manly man, an alpha, a man who's not afraid of anything. He's committed armed robbery. He's killed. He's murdered. He's, he's done all types of things. Okay. He's broken every, every law known to man. He's a criminal and he knows that for him to admit that he's actually afraid to die, I think was a crucial part of the game. Uh, and it really showed uh, at that moment how weak he was emotionally to see a man that strong come that far, that low was a crucial part of the video game. And I think it hit a lot of people. 
for him to say that, that he was afraid. And for this nun, this woman, this heretic who was supposed to have the truth, who was supposed to be a Christian to respond to that by saying, all you need to do is continue being a good man, do good things. This woman gave him no hope because there is no hope in your self-righteousness. We know as Christians that you cannot earn your way to heaven. You cannot be good enough by doing good things. All your works are but filthy rags. Isaiah 64, all your works are but filthy rags. There's nothing you can do. Okay, so instead of giving this man the only message of hope, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ, in turn, what she does is she gives him the only hope of death, which is relying on your good deeds, being a good person. We know that there is none good, no, not one. Okay, and this is why Jesus Christ had to die. But before he died, he had to fulfill the law perfectly. Jesus Christ is the only human being that has ever walked this earth that fulfilled God's law perfectly. And that is why he was able to go to the cross and be our propitiation for our sin and to die. We, he did exactly what we couldn't do. We could not fulfill the law. We could not be good. Only God is good. And so this woman who claimed to be a Christian, who claims to be a woman of the cloth, missed her chance to share with him, Arthur, his only hope of salvation. And she will be judged for that. First John 4, 1, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. The nun mentions that she even has a weak faith. And I, and if you rewind the clip, Arthur kind of like steps back and looks at like, huh? These people know, they know that they're not true. They know that they really don't have the answers. And really the truth is they're just like everyone else who suppresses the truth in their unrighteousness, through their unrighteousness. Okay. Um, for a Christian, this type of, Interaction is a dream because we have the answers. Okay, those of us who've been saved for any amount of time, those of us who study the word of God, who know the word of God, who know the gospel, we have the answers. And this is the perfect time to glorify God by giving those who are hopeless hope and sharing them the good, sharing with them the good news. So although this is a video game, this really happens in real life. These situations happen where you are talking to someone who's expressing hopelessness. And as a Christian, this is why it's important to study the Bible so that when these instances happen, we're, we're well equipped and prepared to share what they need to know in order to be saved from the wrath of God. Life is short. Life is a vapor. James 4, 4, 4, 14. This life is a vapor and it will soon pass. Your time is coming. And this is not a game. This is not something to play with. This is extremely important because eternity is at hand. So my hope is that you repent, you turn from the world, you look unto Christ as your only hope, only hope of salvation and are born again, regenerated by the Holy Spirit, becoming a Christian.